Hello everybody, it's Kyle here. Welcome back to my channel. Please bear with me if it sounds like I'm struggling <laughs> because I'm battling a cold and this is actually the third time I'm trying to record this video. So we'll see how well it goes. Uh, today I wanted to talk to all of you about the line between disability pity and disability privilege or you know what is that line um, and what do we consider privilege and what do we consider pity or what do I consider privilege and consider pity rather you know because something is pr a privilege you know as simple as being able to park as close to the door as possible in a handicapped parking spot you know that's a privilege I don't feel pitied I think that's great that we are able to do that because parking well, I just had a conversation at work. It was a would you rather game of, you know, and one of the choices would or was be always able to find Rockstar Parking. And, you know, everyone there said Rockstar Parking. So, you know, that's something I, I really, that's a real big privilege. But pity, you know, pity's kind of hard to judge because if you want... Well, for me, it's hard to judge because I like to be an optimist. And I kind of refuse to look at it, look at things as pity because then I feel like if I look at things as pity, I'll always look at things as pity and I don't want to be that pessimistic. Um, another good privilege, at least when I went, was um, the Fast Passes at Disney World. <laughs> Think, and we didn't learn about those till the last day there. Um, uh, that was about 10 years ago, 12 years ago. Um, that, I think, is a privilege because that is, Florida's hot. And I don't want to stand in those two-hour lines. So I won't look at those as pretty. I will definitely look at those as privilege. Um, but there are some gray areas. Um, when I... Uh, used to go to the carnival when I was a kid. I remember this one specific ride. It was the mini drop. Um, but the ride operator would um, let me ride the ride and then come up to me and ask me if I wanted to get off the ride or I wanted to go for another ride, like another turn. And it, I always, of course, I always said yes. Well, that kind of backfired me. I ended up getting sick. Or feeling sick after like a good solid six six times going straight through, um, but there you know was she feeling bad for me or was she just trying to be nice for me? You know, did she do that for everyone with a disability or was it just me? And she just felt bad for me. That you know that's kind of gray area. I'd like to think that she thought I was a nice kid and just wanted to do something nice for me. Uh, here's another, well, this isn't my example, and I won't mention his name or anything, but um, a friend of mine back at my bachelor degree days, he was holding, I feel like I should say this, he has cerebral palsy, he uses a wheelchair, um, but he also is able to walk without arm crutches, I walk with arm crutches, but he kind of bounces between, but he was holding a door for a woman and her child and she almost refused to go through the door and when she did she told her daughter to turn her head and look away and I remember talking to him about it and he was just devastated and he had every right to be I think it's really sad that people will look at those with disability well I should say some people some people will look at those with disability as if they're less than and not even human. You know, he was doing something nice for someone out of the kindness of his own heart to then be looked at as if he was dirt or scum. I think, you know, that's pity and that's really sad. And I've experienced, you know, similar things, um... But I just couldn't believe that people would still... <coughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't believe that people, you know, there are people out there that can still look at us like that. You know, we don't need pity. Pity is something that 
doesn't need to exist for those with disability. What we need is respect and action and people that are willing to build the ramps and put in elevators and put buttons on doors and be part of the solution instead of, you know, making us feel as if it's an inconvenience when really that same person could then 20 years from now need a wheel need a wheelchair for mobility and then need someone to open the door for them or need a button to open the door or need a ramp and not need or not have those things available cuz i know at my college well my university um some of the buildings were grandfathered in so they didn't need um, or didn't have to become accessible. Uh, thankfully, I never had to use those buildings, but another friend with cerebral palsy had to, and she struggled. And I just think that's silly that we still can't, you know, make things more accessible. Um, because making things more accessible means that you you don't have to pity pity us. You're allowing us to live our lives the best way that we can um, without having to rely on other people as much or feel like you have to do things for us because you think it's too hard for us or whatnot. The reason I kind of brought this subject up was because we had talked about something similar in my sociology of disability class. And at the time, you know, I'm really thankful for this class because it kind of opened my eyes up to, you know, the diff struggles and the dis this was kind of my first, like, academic um, window into the disability community. And we had a guest speaker who was in a wheelchair um, on campus, and he was talking... I don't remember his name, but he was talking about, you know, disability privilege and how when he would ask for donations, you know, people would give him, you know, a lot, I don't know, I don't want to say a lot, but people would be generous with their donations and, you know, people would just do nice things for him. And I was like, oh yeah, disability privilege is real. Like people love to do nice things for us. And my professor was like, well, how do you know they're doing it, you know, out of the kindness of the heart? How do you know they're not just feeling sorry for you? And like I said, I kind of refused or wasn't thinking about pity um, at the time that allowing that to be a reality, that people do pity those with disabilities because they think that we need their pity and I just refuse, or, well, sometimes I, I wonder, you know, because that's, that's the fine line. If you allow yourself to feel like people are pitying, of you, pitying you, then you start to question their motives of everyone around you. At least I do, or I would, because even family, you know, are you feeling bad for me? Are you pitying me? That's, I feel like that's a very slippery slope of allowing pity to be a reality because then, you know, then you become skeptical of everything and everyone around you. Every nice gesture becomes, well, are you just being nice or are you looking, looking at me as disability and you feel that you have to? Because nobody has to open doors for you. Nobody has to, you know, give you big donations. That's not going to change the fact that you have disability. And I just, I, I myself won't allow pity into my life. And people may, that may be their intention, but I, ref, I won't, I won't allow myself to look at it that way because then, you know, that kind of, to me, that's depressing. And I, you know, I, in my younger years, was, 
isolated and felt sad about disability and allowed. And all I thought was about was pity. So now that I'm more comfortable in my skin, I don't, not that I know that it doesn't exist, but I just don't allow it to take up space in my mind that people are doing things because they feel sorry for me. Um, I don't know if anyone else out there is like that. And I'd really like to know if you have any um, scenarios or examples of what you thought was um, privilege or pity, either one or both. Because I feel like sometimes maybe, you know, there isn't a line. Um, but please, if you have an, um, a story to share, please put it <clears throat> in the comments. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Please be sure to like and subscribe.